I'm not living with HIV, but HIV is living with me. I never expected to be a parent living as a black gay man, period. Um, but for me, a HIV diagnosis shut the door on that. Um, but that wasn't the case. Um, I choose to succeed. Um, I choose not to give up. Um, and I choose to do my best to inspire and uplift my community and those around me, whether I know you personally or not. Um, because as a person living with HIV, um, I've experienced homelessness, um, substance abuse, um, I've survived abuse, um, sex work, everything you can think of. Um, and now be leading the Center to End the Epidemics here at NMAC is just life-changing for me. Um, and I really want to use that to inspire people and let them know that just because you are living with HIV that you can't succeed. And um, it may take work, it may be a little bit more effort, um, but it can be done. Um, and so, so to not give up and just keep going. I'm very open with my HIV status. I think um, coming in the door, I was a bit um, closeted with it, but that was my own personal stigma with HIV as well um, that I had to come to grips with. The Ryan White HIV AIDS program has impacted my life um, just with knowledge. I would say a good 75% um, of my friends that are living with HIV who don't have insurance or are underinsured, um, I've personally been able to connect with Ryan White, whether it be any location almost, you know. So for me, um, it's impacted my life because I've been able to help um, impact others in a meaningful way um, and hopefully help save some lives in the process. If you don't have insurance or you're underinsured, um, look up the Ryan White HIV AIDS program. Um, it saves lives and it's there for everyone.